Hello, and thank you for joining me in this video about smart bonding. Simply put, smart bonding is integrating your ITSM system with Cisco's ITSM system. This can dramatically reduce the amount of time spent troubleshooting customer issues. It addresses communication challenges between your engineering team and Cisco TAC by eliminating swivel chair inefficiencies. So today, when a customer calls your support desk to report a network issue, you open a ticket in your ITSM system, form the troubleshooting, collect logs, etc. If you then need to engage Cisco, you contact TAC and you have to go through all of it again, and this takes time. And there's also the risk of important information being omitted, leading to TAC potentially repeating some of the steps that your team has already performed. Smart bonding removes these inefficiencies by automating information exchange. The notes and files entered into your ITSM system will be visible to Cisco Tech, and Cisco Tech notes and files will be visible to your engineer. So let's look at an example of what happens when you're smart bonded and the customer contacts you for support. So you open a ticket in your ITSM system, and that will generate what we call a shadow case in Cisco's ITSM system. You perform your troubleshooting, you capture notes, logs, files, etc. Best case scenario, you're able to resolve the issue and close the case. But in the event that you need to contact Cisco for support, with smart bonding, it's very easy to click a button or call Cisco TAC to escalate the shadow case. A Cisco TAC engineer is then assigned and will work through resolution until the case can be closed. Now, I'd like to take a moment to answer some common questions that I hear very often regarding smart bonding. One such question is, do I need to share all my information with Cisco? Well, the answer is no. There's an option to make certain notes private, both on the Cisco side and on the partner side. Another question is, do I need to create a shadow case for every customer ticket? Again, the answer is no. Currently, only partner lifecycle services support requires shadow case creation. You're free to create shadow cases for any customer ticket, but only partner lifecycle services support currently requires this. Another common question is, do shadow cases affect my service delivery metrics? Well, only shadow cases which are escalated to Cisco will impact your metrics. So a shadow case that you resolve yourself will not impact your service delivery metrics. Another question is language. Can my engineer put case notes in local language? Yes. And Cisco TAC will use translation software if needed. Now, let's talk about connectivity. A web service gateway is established between the two systems. This has been tested with the five major ITSMs on the market. The easiest integration is with ServiceNow, but if your ITSM can handle APIs and can support SOAP and REST, you will be able to smart bond with Cisco. Note that even though we support SOAP and REST, the recommendation is to do it through REST, as this will require less Cisco involvement and will allow you to move more quickly or at your own pace. Regarding authentication, even though we support basic authentication, if you can use OAuth 2, it will be quicker because, again, you'll be able to do it with less Cisco intervention and move at your own pace. For the transport method, we recommend push and pull, but if that's not possible, push and push will work. Basically, if you can follow the recommended options, you'll be able to self on board with very little need for Cisco involvement. Stay tuned for the next video, which will go into the different onboarding options in more detail. And thanks for watching.